Nothing will go wrong. Uh oh. Lights are out. I don't know what you guys were thinking, but it didn't work. Welcome back to the battlefield. My name is Newton Neutral, and we're back at this. The last episode was uh, pretty action-packed, if I do say so myself. For today's episode, I'm not exactly sure what we'll be doing, but well, as usual, we'll be improvising and all that stuff. You know, the usual good stuff. Don't forget to leave the video a rating, and uh, go grab yourself something to drink, and uh, enjoy. So if I remember correctly, last episode, we had a little bit of a situation when it came to um, having some high explosive shells, and our main issue is getting some sewage to transform into um, biofuel, I think. Uh, I was recommended by Wizap to build this septic tank, which basically will give us some fecal sludge that will be able to transform into chem fuel. Besides that, um... Our goal this episode is going to be uh, gathering up a lot of steel and apparently we're being given some free weapons. Hmm. A UMP-45 and an MP barrel, which I have no idea what these do, but I want them to uh, haul these, please. Anyways, our goal this episode is to get as much steel as we can, uh, possibly start transforming steel into components in order to build a lot more of the Avali Rapid Cannon, which I plan on having one here, another one here, and another one in this section. I'm not too sure if we can deconstruct these and maybe get some materials, but I'll ask them to deconstruct these things. Shuttle crash. At planet bound, shuttle is crashing nearby. The crew survives, we can rescue them. I'm gonna ask Kali to immediately come here. Oh, and there's three of them in there. Uh, we got a warrior, I guess? Modify Gnoll. Oh, you are actually pretty decent. Though you're very old. Same goes for you, apparently you're a Sergal! Wait, aren't you old? At this point, we don't really care about age. We're gonna treat everyone in equal matters in this colony. And now she's 72 years old. Holy, okay, she's an old lady, but she knows she knows how to handle guns. So what we'll try to do is uh, reduce her resistance, which is at nine. Not a lot. We do have a high recruitment chance. Probably, can you prioritize that? Roku failed building. Why? Why? Why did you fail building? A cuts car in the neck. And a cuts car in the right eye. Yeah, it, it lowers his manipulation, I guess. Maybe the next car. Dang, dude. Light receptor replaces a missing eye. Can detect light and even obstacles. Like looking through frosted glass, but without the color. Roko hasn't really lost his eye, though. It's just a cuts car. It's still there. It does give him some pain, so... Hmm... Let's really get to work! Make the eye happen! Okay, let's say add Bill... Um... Wait, is it done? No, it's not. Okay, I have to... Rolly, you were almost done with it! Can you just finish it, please? There you go. Drop it on the ground. Need material... Okay, who has the light receptor? Who picked it up? Snow, did you pick it up? No, 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 no. You, you are. What, what kind of doctor are you? Oh, you have 15. Okay, Moki has 15 as well. All right, you two are equals, I guess. I trust you shall uh, completely do this operation successful with Roko wearing a helmet. Nothing will go wrong. Uh oh, lights are out. There you go. Light Receptor, efficiency 60%. You have a lot less efficiency than you had, but at least it doesn't hurt anymore, right? We're, we're literally not generating enough power. Oh! 
if we if we grab all of this, we could in theory make some chem fuel power generator. And we're gonna do it because we we I, I am I think I am confident enough that this is going to be uh, filled up really fast. As you can see, it's already uh, holding 121 liters, which is 24% of the tank already in just one day. They're gonna start miscarrying because they're not fed. Why do we have so many of them? Oh my god, look at that. It's time to feast, little ones. Eat the food. Dang it, fat man. You were eating food. That's not fair. Well, it's not like they don't multiply that fast, right? Roko has broken down and is wandering around confused because of anesthetic? Oh no, dude. Anesthetic. I can't speak, apparently. Kali has gotten food poisoning from incompetent te uh, cook. Tech. Yeah, you're an incompetent tech. You can't make food properly, right? Observe rotting corpses, soaking wet, hungry. What the heck are you doing with your life? And, uh, mad rabbits, I guess. Oh, you guys are going around there? I'll, I'll just let you know that you're probably not going to like this. But this thing is going to shoot you down. This is literally the version of Prey and Spray. Oh, no longer confused. Welcome back, Roko. Uh, this thing is, uh... Who's making the really bad food? <sighs> what is Josh doing? Going the rest... No! Tarvish has burned to death. Burn in the neck caused Tarvish to explode. Oh my god, it got struck by lightning, I think. Josh is like, are we eating that tonight? Logan is like, yes, why do you think my beard is pink? Kali is puking everywhere. It was a major food poisoning too. What the heck, dude? Who made those really bad meals? Million, where are you? Oh, digging? Okay. Well, it's like getting nighttime, so maybe you should just like... Rowley is now sick. Who is the incompetent cook? Oh, Lismore Dan Nasty, our bolt goods trader. Naked circles in rain. Must smell really bad. They're not willing to buy anything but dirt. What? Let, let's give them a gift. They don't want any of it. All right. A pack of man-hunting elephants have entered the area. You didn't want to buy anything we had. Well, you guys better um, start paying up. Especially you with the uh, Doomsday Launcher. He's just aiming and aiming and aiming and... He's aiming again. I don't know what you guys were thinking, but it didn't work. And now we have a Doomsday Rocket Launcher uh, for our own use. <laughs> Let's see how strong an Ivali can be. Hauling a whole elephant with their two tiny feather arms. You're gonna be doing some cleanup, my friend. Starting here. Alright, he's pretty uh, accurate with this. Fire! We have fire in our home! Can they stop the fire, please? The shuttle crash. Once again. Wow. Uh, we got a cheese wedge. Not the best, but promises. Yeah, and there was like, oh, this guy's called coffee. Why aren't you alive? Oh, you were staggeringly ugly and abrasive. Snow has gotten food poisoning from an incompetent freaking meal. Re! Welcome back! Welcome back, Mr. Cheese Wedge. Let's just put that there and somebody will take care of that. Again with the food! Who's the incompetent cook? The mystery of the incompetent cook should be the name of this episode. 
Oh, this is completed. Look at that. Freaking awesome. Can we build a roof over that? Oh, thank you. You guys are just taking care of that. And what we could do also is maybe put some uh, decoration, maybe? Oh, has been broken by more recruitment attempts. We'll begin. Papluti called Josh a ferret. Says the one with the fur. Somebody's puking. Oh, God, Josh, no! Josh is like, make it rain. <laughs> Man hunting pack of elephant once again. Jeez, elephants are just after us, I guess. Man, I feel like it doesn't do a lot of damage, but holy, look at that. So many injuries. Hiroko has joined us. Great. Name time. Sky K. Name given by Carol Wood. I think it was in one of the recent videos. Well, there you go. That's your character, I guess, for now. New lovers. Borma floated with Rhin Rhino. What? What? Dude, like, seriously? Prisoners fell in love? Breakup? <laughs> Rhino told Borma that it's not working out. What the heck? Dude, like seriously, I thought I'd love you, but no, I do not love you. Are you two going to fight now? Do not buy this, okay, guys? Literally, double clicks under three months of purchase. What is this? You now have the technology to build a fabrication bench, but it also requires some advanced component to get started. You can collect advanced components several ways. Now I gotta figure a way to uh, put this somewhere. It's so... Oh, we could put it there. That fabrication bench. It is so big. Uh, Houston, we have a problem and it's called having too much food. I'm gonna ask them to make more uh, pies, I think. We got the food, dude. Oh, we require sugar? Oh, a sugar pie! Oh my god, I'm stupid. Oh no, that is just bad. I'm sorry. Uh, do until you have... Uh, here you go. Make all the pies, please. We're losing hay grass. We're losing bamboo for crying out freaking loud! Get to work! I hate this game. I, I hate this game when I have to do this manually. Uh, <laughs> no! Can we save a bit of it at least? I don't know why I was making it, but apparently it was important. Okay, we're gonna start researching bionics because uh, I think it's gonna be something useful for us in the future. Moki, what are you doing around the corpses? Why are you eating food in front of it? A manhunting pack of wargs! Oh, the worst. How much steel did we uh, gather up so far? 1,247. Eh, that's good. Still need these to be built. Maybe we should build them out of wood or bamboo. Oh, our uh, relationship with the Lismore dynasty is at 98. Nice. Where are you? Can you just, like, help Plutie build this real quick here? So we're gonna put the big turrets in here, and they should help destroy the enemies if they try to attack from this way. Before I do this, because uh, mistakes could be made. 23, apparently. Not enough. That means we need to start digging up some, uh, compacted machinery, if we can find some. There is also the fabrication bench that we could start making some, uh, components out of steel, so... And the cold snap is over, we don't really care. We've been blessed by the rare cargo pods, and we've got some wart. Alpaca sitting. He wants you to take care of 12 alpacas for 9 days. The alpacas are sick with blood 
rot and will require daily treatment. The disease can be slowed by high quality care and medicine, but generally cannot be cured outright. If the disease becomes severe, the alpacas will die. So ensure you have the necessary medical supplies. This is 12 alpacas for nine days. Are you out of your mind? Okay, it would have been a good deal. <laughs> would have been a good deal. If the alpacas weren't sick, I swear to God, that would have gone through our medicine pretty quickly. Visitors from the Uristan Unification are visiting us. Food bench, Josh. Rebuffed by Kali. Come over here, you. Are you kidding me? You two are going to fight. Ow! Freaking Kali! Come help me. He's hitting me. There you go. Good job. You absolute. Oh no! Desiree are now maddened. Oh my god, it's just gonna be another colonist to take care of. Oh yes! Terror has recruited and joined us. You're gonna need a name, my friend. You, sir, are going to be named. Uh, Edgy. Name given by Snowy. I forgot to remove this one. And this one. There you go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven names left. Bionics. We've done the Bionic Warfare. Power Arm, Power Claw. Bionic Spine. Rib Replacement. Advanced Bionic. Uh, we're gonna go with Fire Foam. I, I want some Fire Foam because I fear the fire. Okay, Fire Foam has been researched. I'm going to start um, building some traps. That's gonna be useful, especially for the northern area here. You're running low on food. Interestingly enough. Uh, how about we switch this to something else? Man, when Newton Neutral doesn't give me events for, like, days, I'm scared. Like, I don't know what he's going to do next. Th there's something that's going to happen soon. I don't know. I'm almost done with this. Holy. Mazini has started a social fight with Aeronaime. Aeronaime viciously insulted Mazumi's fighting method. You fight like a weeb. You hurt my feelings! Gets punched a few times in the legs. Josh is just like, Oh, you're hurt. So you fought a Navali too. No, it was Aeronaime! Oh. Alright, we've done the uh, explosive. Now we can research something else. Okay, we're going to expand on the organ destabilization. What I want to end up doing is uh, some neutral mean incubations on our prisoners. So we can make ourselves some better medicine. I mean, it's a win-win situation, right? Right? At least that's what Raluko came up with as an excuse for a million to research that. A mechanoid cluster is landing nearby. All right, let's see what it looks like. And what is that? Smoke spewer. You know what? I'm going to end the episode here, and we're going to see that on the next episode. So, yeah. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Newton Neutral out. Haven't done an outro in, like, a long time, haven't I?